Hello everyone, um, Raven here, and I don't know if I've really been talked about or introduced before, um, but hi, I'm Raven, and I am one of the newest alters, and I wanted to talk to everybody about new alters, and um, share how it feels for us, and if it feels the same for anybody else. Um, I am uncomfortable and don't know much about myself yet um, and that's part of being a new alter because the other alters have been out um, so many times, like they're years old, um, they know what they like and what they're like and um, it's easier for them to be because they've been longer if that makes sense. Um, whereas for me I've only been out once and the only thing that I know that I like is video games so talking to people I'm a bit um, less comfortable about. But I, like the rest of the Myriad system, care about other people with DID and other alters and I want to talk to people who maybe do or don't know much about um, DID about what it feels like to be a new altar, especially because we've got another new altar maybe um, showing up. So I thought that um, it might be um, good for me to tell you guys about what it's like being an altar um, that's new. So um, first I, I, I kind of have to talk a bit about how M feels about things and um, about how she notices us and um, so um, first thing that M will notice um, and I don't know if this is it's not the same for every altar so it depends on what is most um, important to each altar um, but what was important to me was playing video games and being able to represent how I think I look in a video game even before she knew I existed so um, her experience was she was playing Animal Crossing and she just felt like she had to make her hair blue um, and she had to wear um, a different sort of style of clothes and um, that then she sort of dissociated a bit but would still keep playing because that was me playing um, and she was comfortable and happy to let that happen because she knows she has DID and she's very comfortable and welcoming to all of us and it, that's really nice um, so that's the other really big key important thing is that if you think you might have alters at all um, try and be welcoming and try and don't keep trying to get rid of us because that makes everything worse which will make it worse for you well I say you if you have DID um, so Em's always struggled with accepting new alters and has always felt like I can't have another one, I can't have another new one and it's always been really difficult for her and that affects us um, if we're new because it feels like we're unwanted or unwelcome and that can make it harder to communicate so um, yeah. With me, um, so she felt like you know that playing as blue haired character and stuff then I um, basically related to the name Raven, um, it came up in a song because I mean lots of names come up in different songs um, but the name Raven came up in a song and um, it's how she first started noticing that I was really um, another real alter because it's so you can have names that you really like um, 
So you might really like the name Eleanor or something, just as an example. And when you hear that name, you're like, that sounds really cool. I really love how that name sounds. Um, but if someone called out the name Eleanor in a crowded room, you wouldn't look around and, and answer to it because it's just a name that you like. Um, whereas when um, M starts noticing that she has another altar, um, the name Raven will be said or something and she gets this feeling because it's from us or from me um, that it's like, yeah, you called. It's like when you hear your name said, it's a very, very different feeling um, from just hearing a name that you like. Uh, and so um, hearing the name Raven, hearing it said, um, she was like, hold on, why does that, why do I recognize that so well? Why does that feel like my name when it's not my name? That sort of thing. Um, and that's kind of when she started thinking like, hey, um, maybe I have an altar. Um, so then you have to sort of leave, well, you don't, then it's a good idea to leave space for that altar. When you know that you might have an altar, um, to leave space for them and to make them feel welcome because then that's how I started to I also find it hard to tell um, M exactly how I feel because um, she has those feelings that she doesn't want another altar and things but um, the other altars so like Ren and Pepper knew that I existed and they would let Emily know um, they would also tell Luke and Nick um, that I exist and so through that sort of weird loop of communication M starts to accept me and um, then she tries to be really loving because she doesn't want to just push us away it, that's not her intention it's just her subconscious thought that oh I can't have another one kind of thing um, so that's kind of how I first started showing up and then it took me a long time before I could communicate because M still has that feeling of um, oh, they can't, I can't have another one, they can't be real, that sort of thing. Um, but I did eventually start talking, and then it's sort of like, um, hell, I don't know if you guys have this, but one day you might just suddenly be like, right, today's a cleaning day, and then you get on with it, and you get all the cleaning done, but you can't, like, force yourself to have a cleaning day. It's like it just happens spontaneously. Um, that sort of happens with fronting. So I existed for quite a while, um looking out and wanting to, you know, play games or wanting to talk to people. And then suddenly one day I was like, oh, I confront now. And then that's also really scary. Um, so as a new altar, the first time, well, the first time really existing is scary because if you think about it, you were born and you've had your whole life to grow and change and know who you are. Whereas when you're just like, um, suddenly awake. I don't know whether I was created or whether I've been around for a long time, but I know that my consciousness now only started like when it did and um, when you don't know anything about yourself and you're just like, I exist now, but I don't know what I like, I don't know what I look like, I don't know like what my interests are, um, it's quite difficult. Um, I, I, you know, it naturally and innately, like, you just are who you are and you just act the way that you act naturally. So that was never really too much of a stress. But when you're first offered the, the, like, ability to front and then I took it, that was really scary because... I, was, I, I didn't know who I was going to be, what I was going to be like. But then when you first take that step and you do front, then it's a lot easier than it seems. And I was like, oh, this is actually quite nice. And I don't need to worry about who I am all the time because it just happens naturally. And I will grow and change and um, everything over time because I've got like Lucy and especially Lucy because she's the oldest I've got all of these examples of how you change over time and how it doesn't matter if I don't know everything about myself right now because 
they might know those things later. Um, so that's a really cool thing about fronting. And um, I've only fronted a couple of times and I'm trying to get better at it. And, and you might be able to tell that I don't know exactly how I like to interact with people. Um, I know that I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and that's why I have a little like fidget toy. Um, uh, I'm uncomfortable, but I'm also passionate that I want to help and that I want to be me. Um, so there's that. Um, we believe that there's another altar and I want to talk a little bit about that as well because it's okay if you do keep having new altars and the best thing to do is to accept them and love them because no matter how big the system gets, like even if it's hundreds of people big, you're not gonna have hundreds of people clamoring around in your head all the time. Most of them will probably be asleep. Um, and that we're not, well, it depends on your system, but we're um, really lucky that we don't all keep fighting and squabbling for like place in the front and stuff. Um, again, everything that I'm saying is only related to, and, and only from our experience. And I, I, if your experience is different, that's not, you know, that you don't have the ideal, that you're like wrong or that ours is the only way or anything. Like everybody's experience is different. Like even between altar to altar. So the newest um, altar, um, her experience is already different from mine um, because Emily has now started to work on herself and to not keep rejecting new altars basically because Emily's in a very secure place now and she feels very very safe with Luke and Nick and um, she's starting to accept that if any new altars do come to not keep pushing them away and to just love them um, and she's starting to really embody that and fully believe it um, not just, you know, trying to. I don't know if that makes sense. She's really starting to believe it all the way through, not just trying to be a good person. She she doesn't um, get any of those, like, well, maybe I'm this, or maybe it's all just fake, or any of those sort of things. She's doing better. Um, so our newest one, she's got a different experience from me already. Um, so everybody's system is going to be different and we are really, really lucky. I'm really lucky to be part of, of such a functional system. Like everybody in this system feels like they're there to try and support each other. Um, so I think that's why me and our newest altar have started to show up more because we're so comfortable. Um, we're able to sort of step forwards and say hey I exist because um, we feel safe and able to do so um, again I can't say why we're here or why we were created or um, anything I don't know how or why I started existing all I know is that I did um, and you can't argue with me being here so I'm here I don't know why but I am and the same with our newest. Um, it could be because of Em's mental health because we were really struggling for a while. Um, like we felt really, really low and um, uh, her, de her depression's coming back more. Um, she's she's doing okay, like we're fighting with it and um, she's like a really strong person. She's been through all this before. So she's okay and I don't want anybody to worry or panic, but she does struggle with depression. Um, and so she was going through a tough time and that could be why this newest altar started to show up. We don't know. It could just be that they've existed for a very long time and only now felt comfortable enough to front because, like I say, Emily's really embracing us and being supportive of everybody and it's taken a very long time for her to get there. Um, so, it's, it's nice when your um, main um, 
really accepts you and isn't like oh god I don't need another altar because even if there are loads and loads of altars you can work in a way that will be productive and we're not all going to be fighting for control um so yeah I, I hope that maybe in future I can do another video when I've figured myself out a bit better and um we've got more videos planned and stuff so um thank you for watching and thank you very much for being kind about our DID and um thank you to anybody who has commented because that really helps Em um she feels very happy when she gets like comments and um questions as well because it helps her um know what to do a video about so um thanks for liking as well if you have um and I hope that I did a good job um and I hope that you liked meeting me um I might see you again and goodbye